It's easy to say, you know what? I need to go faster to pick up these scraps and pick up these scraps. And sometimes what that does is it gives you the foot up to get to the next level, but sometimes what that does is it just makes you a scrap collector. And that one of the things that we see when we look at the work of people who have put really big ideas into the world, who have built online platforms, right, is that they got there by being patiently impatient or impatiently patient, whichever way you want to juxtapose it. That if you look around at the blogs you read or the, the people you respect online or the organizations you want to work with, the myth of the overnight success is just that, a myth. That you know, the much vaunted Twitter was a failure, a complete failure for two years. Nobody used it. And if they took the mindset of, well, if it doesn't work in two weeks, we've got to go do something else, you never would have heard of it. Okay, and then the biggest one is this principle of leading up. That one of the things that I hear the most after I give a talk or someone reads one of my books is, that's great, but my boss won't let me. I'd love to do something like that, but my boss won't let me. Well, of course she won't. Because what you're saying to her is, I want to do something really cool and really neat, and if it works, I'll get the credit, but if it doesn't, you'll get the blame because you said it was okay. Who would take that deal? And that, in fact, what we see is that the people who have jobs or who have clients who are making a dent in the universe are doing it by leading the people who are ostensibly in charge to make better decisions. 